I'm going to just give a quick intro as to why I wanted Jen to come in and talk today. Um, part of the reason why is actually why I'm swaying. <laughs> so I got Peanut with me. Um, she is almost 10 weeks old. And honestly, the last time I had my four-year-old, um, I was a hot mess when it came to thinking about maternity leave and thinking about my business and everything that I did and how was I going to continue that? How was I going to still serve my clients, right? Um, provide for those who need the help. And I went through it and I struggled, I'm not going to lie. I struggled and I was a solopreneur back then. I was the only one. I didn't have any VAs. I didn't have any help. Um, and my business honestly stopped because of maternity leave. Um, fast forward to last year, right? We all struggled in one way or another last year, all of us. And I really don't think that I would have been able to continue my agency and see the growth that we had and be able to support each other through last year and through having a third child and going through maternity leave now as well without finding my VA. Um, so fast forward to today, we have an amazing support staff. And I think one of the things that people think about is when they think about a VA, they're like, okay, what do I hand off, right? It's a little different for everyone. Um, for me, I had the contractors who helped within the agency with graphic design, with Pinterest management, um, with sales support, right? So let me know if you know what I'm talking about, right? You have maybe contractors, maybe you had a VA and it just didn't work out. I get it, right? Because I went through the ups and downs of that. I I can't tell you how many different assistants I had gone through until I met Jen. And when I met Jen, I figured out with her help how to be able to find the right fit person, right? And that's really what I think propelled us forward. And set us up to be able to go through last year together, to be able to get stronger together, um, lean on one another, and truly come out in the end stronger. And now here, hey, um, now here I am on maternity leave, and I have a newborn, and Claudine, I don't know if she'll be popping in today or not. She is my perfect match VA. Claudine has been instrumental in the growth of my agency. Um, she has helped me find the next VA and the next VA for each step of the process when we were growing. And it's not only that, but it's also having another individual that you can really like bounce those ideas off of, right? So I just did a watch party in the group, um, Pinterest Strategy and Funnel Marketing Rockstars. I'm not sure if you're watching this on the page or in the group, um, but there was a watch party that I just did where Jen and Nika, uh, Jen's Perfect Match VA, decided to bless us with different template, like different uh, trainings, right? And so one of those trainings was Gmail templates and how to go to the zero inbox. And I always wanted to be that person who 
had the individualized relationships, right? I responded to everybody. I had my hand in everything. And it was really hard for me to let go of that, but to be able to have a structure that Jen and Nika taught us and to be able to, on that live stream, on the watch party that's in the group, um, go through and have those templates, right? And go through and see how do we set it up. So I have a support email, support at laurareich.com. And that's when people make purchases and how to go through and get support if they can't log in or they have a question about a training, anything like that, right? I don't personally log in. That is Claudine's email. I have access to it, but we have set it up where Claudine knows how to respond to those questions and to get access to those people because we've maybe gotten that question three or four times right? And even if you don't have a VA, that is something that you should implement like now for yourself. Well, let's, um, I'm going to rapid fire quiz you for a few things, if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Um, so one of the things that I get a lot in other mentors, groups, and things like that, that they talk about is they've tried hiring one-off VAs to just do one task, right? To see if it's a good fit for them. Even if they wanted it long-term or not, they'll go to like Fiverr or they'll get a recommendation or whatever. So can you talk to how this is different? Like how I know how it's different, right? But like, why does this make more sense for them to go through and find someone like this, go through the program because of the outcome versus those one-offs? So maybe they've been hurt in the past from somebody else and it didn't work out. Yeah. Um, well, so we... My program really focuses on hiring virtual assistants in the Philippines because it is so affordable and doable. Um, and yes, you can go to Upwork or Fiverr or something and you can hire someone temporarily or, um, you know, to do one off tasks. But the problem is it's very stop and start, very stop and start. And it wastes a lot of your time and you really can't get any momentum that way. So what you want is a virtual assistant who is literally going to, going to be a part of your business. And I, I show you how to do that um, to for, to show you how your VA feels ownership in your business. And once that very critical thing happens, everything else falls into place because, um, because you don't have to explain why it's so important that your customers get treated well. You don't have to explain why it's important that typos don't go out or that your brand be consistent, you know, because your VA has bought into your business they're, um They, they believe in what you're doing and they're on board and they're in it for the long haul and they have your back and there's just, that cannot be replaced by someone, you know, the one-off person here. Now, are you still going to hire contractors for certain things that, Yes. Right. Like I still hire a copywriter for a big launch or for a new sales page. Right? I don't that's that's a very specific expertise, of course. But for the most part, like general virtual assistants who, by the way, can do a lot of specialized things. I mean, and I think your VAs can do a lot of this stuff too, Laura, like video editing, podcast editing, social media graphics, um, writing newsletters. And when I say writing newsletters, I really mean more like compiling newsletters, um, taking the, you know, taking conversation and stuff in your Facebook groups and then repurposing that into an email. Um, so many, so many things. My favorite thing uh, to do is um, that I just think is so slick is I love to, um transcribe transcribe is that the word dictate like use google dictation oh, wow. and like i'll talk out my podcast episodes or a presentation like if i have a if i have a, um, a deck i need to create or or a training or whatever i'll just jump on i'll open up a google doc and i'll just start talking and then i'm done talking i shoot it off to my va and i'm like here you go 
Um, let's do this one in the front row CEO branding. And um, I want I want all the images to be sort of this kind of look. And thank you. And then um, I wake up, I go to bed and I wake up and um, while either either the deck has already been created based on just those words um, or while she's all while she's creating it and let's say I didn't go to bed, I'm now using that time to do something else that's going to really move the needle in my business. She couldn't write that presentation. She can't. That's only I can do that. Right. Um, that's that's time well spent because that's I'm doing the thing that makes a difference. Then I move on after that thing and I do a podcast episode. Same thing. She cannot do this. She can't do that. Like and take the stuff out of my brain. Only I can do that. Um, and then after that, I might make some sales calls um, because maybe you know some people actually do outsource their sales calls. I like to do those myself. Um, I think they're more effective. And so, yeah. And so that's that's kind of what I want for everybody. And and um, this, you know, it's like each piece by itself doesn't isn't enough. Like it's not enough if, if I just gave you a website in the Philippines and said this website is where I hire my VA. That's not going to help you at all because you have to have. A system. Um, and what a lot of people tell me is like, I wouldn't have known where to start. And then once I got into front row CEO, I just followed the breadcrumbs and at the end ended up at the, you know, gingerbread house. Yep. And that's the nice thing about the program too. It wasn't like a course and then you set it and forget it. Like you're going through it. Nika's going through it with us. It's on, like real time. we Follow the steps that you put in place, which I am very good. If someone tells me to do something, I will get it done, right? Like, so, and you say, this is going to be the outcome. This is going to help you. This is needed. Then I will get it done. And so I think that's what worked really well for me is if you do this, this way, it will be set up and you will not have to touch it again. Right. And so like, now I don't hire. So Claudine, the group knows if you're watching this in the group or watching this on the page, um, I know we're in two different areas right now, but um, in the group, the group knows Claudine. And Claudine is my perfect math bike VA. I hired her from the program from three years ago. We went through all the steps. Claudine went through and then the next year, I paid for her to go through the cohort again, and I she did the program. She has now since hired us a video editor, um, Franklin, and then we now have Raymart, who is our graphic designer, full-time, both of them. And it's been crazy amazing um, to see the difference, right? I, before you hopped on, I was talking about my anxiety was so high with this child to go on maternity leave because four years ago, I didn't have anybody like that. Mm -hmm. Right. And so when I met you in the program, I was at the point where I was like, something's got to give because I have a one-year-old. I'm trying to do all the things. Maternity leave did not suit us well. Um, and, and it was it was just, it was a blessing. Right. And so I got anxious and I remember, um, my other coach saying, Laura, you've already gone through this system. You've already set this up. Like you need to just let go and let them handle it. And so one of the cool things that we did while I was on maternity leave is my video editor and Claudine pre-scheduled what we called the best of Laura live. So I have been live every Friday on my page since she was born, but they were repurposed video content training. I haven't had to touch them. I've had wonderful conversations with people in the group and I've responded to comments because I can do that on my phone, y'all, on maternity leave. And then the other thing I figured out, I don't know if anybody's doing this in the group yet or not. I haven't uh, posted it in the um, front row CEO group, but I have um, an individual, a copywriter that I work with, and she helps respond to Haro replies and pitch different things in Haro. When they come back, nine times out of 10, they have anywhere from five to 25 different questions for an interview, right? So I will use Loom, because Loom will now dictate and record, 
um, at the same time and give that transcend. So I will use Loom and I will show support of whatever I need to to answer those questions. I will have it transcribed. I will hand it off to my VA. My VA and my copywriter edit it, get it sent out, and now our PR is being streamlined with only me just having to sit down for 10 minutes, baby or not, loud in the background, going through and doing... Okay, that's dances. super ultra rock star. And that is exactly, I just love that so much. I can't wait to share that with everybody. That is so good. Yeah. And I've come up with a name for those kind of tasks. They're called PRDs, Perpetual Revenue Drivers. So the reason this is so good in so many ways, you guys, because a lot of times people are like, well, I just don't know what I would give to a VA. First of all, once you get halfway through the course, you're going to realize that you are really going to have no shortage. Even if you feel like you have no systems, you don't have, you know, you don't even know what you're doing one day to the next. Trust me, we got you covered on that. But, but just in case, right? Like, um, just in case, let's say like you, there's just a dry spell and there, there's no work for your VA. Um, they can always go back to the PRDs. And so one of them is I've, I ran across this course. I'll get you the link for it. Um, and it's, it's a, I, I found out on AppSumo, it was like $27 and you, I, and I handed this off to my VAs, but basically it is just a system for getting you booked on the right podcast. Okay. So oh. if all your VA did was get you just pitched you on podcasts and there's a system for that, like there's a template and then there's like a schedule that you need to follow for follow up. And then there's, you need to research the podcast and show that you listened to it and say, I loved this episode. And this is why Laura would be perfect for it. And these are some of the things Laura could talk about on your podcast. So it's not just like copy, paste, copy, paste. Like it requires work to do it well. If that's the only thing you had was doing the Harrow like stuff and like podcast pitching. Claudine does all the podcast pitching. That's actually from Michelle. She's in the group. Michelle Lewis. Yeah. Yes. yes. Michelle's in the group. Michelle's oh actually my on my team. So oh she good. helped. Yeah, she helped train the copywriter and train Claudine while I was on maternity leave and get them going through all this. It's been amazing because I'm doing podcasts. My copywriter and Claudine are doing um, Haro pitches, and then I'm just answering the questions. Like, we, I have more PR and podcasts going out right now than I do anything else because it's easy for me to just show up, like right now, and they handle the rest. Yes, and then your team is then able to take those assets that you know you being on a podcast, and then spread it all over social make the bullet points, send it out to your email list. And she's more present than she's ever been in her business. And she's on maternity leave. Like that is it. That is why you are my star student. I mean, that is you. like, guys, that is, that is what we, that's, that's, that's it. Because you should be able to be able look at that face. Oh my God. I just, if I can just, Oh, I just want to squeeze her. I miss that. Ugh. But anyway, um, yeah. And like, you know, on a, Sad note, but really not that sad because my mom is doing really well right now. But she was diagnosed with st stage four cancer in um, October. So in October, I was having to go back and forth from South Carolina to Ohio, Ohio to South Carolina, back and forth, back and forth. And ultimately, I moved her in with us. And um, so I'm her primary caregiver. And, um, you know, you want to talk about like upheaval, right? Like, I mean, and she I had to bring two dogs with me to barky like yippy little barky dogs who poop all over the house and so you know um but but I, I didn't miss a beat in my business because nobody missed me because I look as present as ever because they got it covered um but more importantly I don't or as importantly is that you know you need to be doing that thing that is really going to because you might be good at canva and you might be good. You might like doing and We all like doing Canva. I mean, really, if we're honest, like it's fun. It makes you feel like some sort of artistic genius. Right. Yeah. Um, but and you can do it. I'm not saying you can't ever do Canva. It's fun. It's fun to go in there every once in a while. Give yourself some relaxation in Canva. But the truth is, like all that other stuff you're doing, like, you know, laying out your newsletter and, you know, whatever and posting social media, all that stuff. That is time. You need to be on the phone. 
You need yeah. to be doing webinars. You need to be doing joint venture op op things. You need to be setting up affiliate relationships. You need to be selling. You know, you need to create. You need if you created the online course, then now you need to be creating the webinar that's going to sell that online course. You know, and and so it's just it's just going to sit in the dark and people aren't going to see it. And that's the thing that's going to make money. And as soon as you see that happen, it's it, it's very it's it really happens fast once you follow our lead and we show you how to now transition and leverage that time with your VA, you will see the growth quickly, which is why Laura was able to hire her VA and then a video editor and then um, a graphic designer. And let's talk about that. People might be like, what could you possibly be using a graphic designer for 20 hours a week for? Is it 20 or 40? Uh, 40. Yeah. Everything. Okay. Everything. And because suddenly you're like, Oh, we could turn this into a workbook. This can be a download. This can be yep. right. He's done, he's done new freebie downloads that we have. Um, any type of webinars we've done, he's done all the graphics or PowerPoints for them. Um, then they fill in all the content Claudine does. Um, anytime we have social media posts, anytime we have Facebook lives, the images are done for us. All of the Pinterest images that we do, him and I work together on. Um, like everything, it's just, it's literally been amazing. Anything that you would love to put a design to or like the YouTube cover images, like all of that, he does all of it. And it's been, I mean, amazing. We actually, this will be funny. We actually just hired another graphic designer on maternity leave that also does, um, like animated video designs in Canva to be able to support him because he has so much that he's doing. It's, and, I mean, and as a Pinterest expert, like I'm not surprised at all. And I just think that's, I mean, yeah. like that's, that's amazing. And, and things get turned, can be turned into digital products because, you know, any, any, any information that has come, any of all that genius that comes out of Laura's mouth, you know, that graphic designer can now capture that in some kind of way, you know, with all the tools we have with transcription and whatever, and turn it into an ebook, a workbook, um, a book book, actually, um, you know, so amazing. Yeah. And I know we have Susan and Jennifer and Krisha and Marisa and I mean, so many people in here. So if you guys have questions, I mean, feel free, go ahead and post them in here because like, um, this, uh, truly, honestly, I, I tried hiring so many people before, like I tried contractors, I tried VAs, I tried, and that's not to say there's not a point. Like we said this at the beginning, right? Like I still have contractors in my business. I have Michelle, yeah. I married Michelle, right? There are still reasons. Yeah. Joanna, Joanna here. Um, Joanna is amazing at Canva. So if y'all need help with Canva. Definitely. Oh, great. Yep. But, um, but just like having, having those individuals, um, we went through our ups and downs, right? Like it, the other thing that I thought was really cool and I will back myself up a bit is in the program. It's not just, um, Hey, Cindy Lou. Um, it's not just hiring the person and then offloading all this work. Like Claudine and I have a true relationship. She knows my kids, right? Oh, like, yeah. I am still emotional from pregnancy. So my face is like getting all emotional right now because like <laughs> I had contractors before and I loved those contractors, but they didn't last for one reason or another, right? We grew apart and I, I commend them on that, right? Like they, they're doing their own thing now. They're amazing. But the thing that really struck me too hard in the program was how I can help these people, right? How I build this relationship with them. And then I get to reward them. Because I have the financial stability to be able to say thank you, right? So, like, all my team members, we have 13 people in the agency. All of them got Christmas bonuses, and I didn't do anything. Like, all of them. Because that's just, 
like that's what I wanted to do. Like I am on maternity leave. You guys are running things. I can pay you. I'm going to do that. And like to just see that relationship and see the changes in these individuals and be able to grow together with them is more than I think just hiring someone, right? Like it's it's. Well, it's, it's sort of like, it's a bonus. It's a bonus that you get that you didn't count on, right? Like it's, 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 it's baked into the pudding, but you don't realize it until a little, a little bit down the road um, that all of a sudden, like, wait, I really did get way. I, I got so much more than a VA. I got a, a true partner who I care about. I'm changing their life. They're changing mine. It's like a beautiful thing. And when you see it play out and I never really talk about that because I think, I mean, people see it with me and, and Nika, you know, so they they know we love each other and they know she's part of my family. And, you know, you, you can see things when things are real. But um, it's not, that's not something I really talk too much about because I can't sell that to people like you just have to experience that. It, 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 and it's just a nice surprise. And I always get um, I got an email just um, a couple of days ago from Talene. I don't know. I think when you did the reboot, Talene was in there. She's she's a coach in, in the UK. and she sent me an email and she said, um, Jen, I, I, saw, I see that you're launching and I want to wish you the best of luck. And I just have to tell you where things are now. She said, um, I've, you know, I've hired a second VA. My business is you know, doing better than ever, yada, yada, yada. But then she said, um, but what, what I'm most thrilled about is the relationship that I've formed with, you know, her, her first VA. And she said, she sent me an email, um, or a message the other day and told me that she was able to take her whole family out um, and her extended family out to dinner and, and foot the bill for the first time in her life. I think she's like a young, a young person. And she, and, um, and she said, Talene said, you know, that just made me cry, you know, that, that I was able to help her do that for her family, you know? And, um, and so you'll see that stuff and it, it really, it's just a nice little bonus for you. It is. Yeah. And that was like, um, so I won't say which one of the VAs on the, on the agency right now, but with those Christmas presents, um, one of the, my VAs told me that this was the first Christmas they were able to buy presents for their kids. Oh my gosh. And I like died. Yeah. Again, I'm pregnant. So everything makes sense. <laughs> or, I, mean, I just had a baby. I'm not pregnant again. Listen, let's, let's get that straight. <laughs> let's be clear. <laughs> let's be clear. I'm done. I have my three kids. But it just, you know, like to, because you want your businesses to make an impact, right? And people talk about making an impact in so many different ways. And this was one of those extra ways that just was like, this is amazing. Right, because you think about what you can offer and how you can serve, but you don't think about necessarily your internal team. Like, how are you serving them? How are you providing for them? How are you growing with them? And right. Find that for a person. Right. It it just kind of flows and it just kind of happens. And so yep. That was just awesome. But yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, I know. So okay, so. Um, here's a question that I have because I see, uh, this is Lucretia and she says, I just hired a VA this week. Now I'm wishing I would have seen this first. My first initial thought, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but my first initial thought is still go through the program because yeah, that hiring is only, that's just the beginning. Yeah, that's just Not a, what are you going to do? <laughs> how do you know what to hand off? How do you know to make systems so they can take over? How do you like, the hiring is like the first step. What are the other five? Right. And so I think for anybody out there who's like, I already have a VA. Okay. But are you able to hand things off completely? Or are you still trying to be like me, a type A person, holding on to everything and keeping your hands in too many cookie jars when really you should just be letting go? Yeah. And we, we have several, um, each, each time we run this, we have several people who have more than one VA. They have several VAs and actually they're just looking to, um, uh, work better and like really just make the most, make the most out of those, um, relationships or that's not, that's not the right word. And I don't want to use the word leverage again. I'm so sick of that word. Um, but basically to work more efficiently, 
with their teams um, because we do show you um, how to systemize things. So it really is all about the systems. And um, and if you don't get off to a good start, you know, it's not to say that you can't you can't change course. You totally can. But um, it, it it's it's helpful when you get off to the right start because you want you want to um, there's going to be less cleanup afterwards. Right. You want to have good good things in place right from the get go. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. So I know we only have a couple minutes left. I think we're actually over a little bit too. Um, well, I was late. Oh my God. I can't even believe that. Sorry. <laughs> totally I was in this other live stream with Nika and she was like in the middle of that live stream, she's like, we're late for Laura. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Listen, it is real life over here. This is as real as it's going to get. So I'm not really <laughs> Um, but I know that in the beginning I was talking about, um, we, I did a watch party in here, which did you know watch parties are going away? No, I, I count on those. I love those. They're going away. Not enough people took advantage of them. They just didn't know about them. Wow. I know. Darn. So I'm super sad because I, you know, I use them all the time for stuff like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Um, but when are they going away? Because I need it to at least work like in the next couple of days. Uh, they work for the next couple of days. I think okay. it's the mid of the month or the end of the month, I believe. If okay. I correctly. Um, All right. Tony was talking about it. So if you want to ask. She me, knows. Yeah. Um, but I did a watch party and I don't want it to go away um, on the Gmail template section of what you were just talking about. Can you talk to that and how that one piece, even if it, that's something they start with, right? The system to having, when people ask the same questions or need mm -hmm. support or things like that, can you just talk to that and give that tip for the group in here too? Absolutely. So if you, do you want me to share my screen? Yeah. If it lets you, I think it should. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll just show you. I just did a training on this right before this. So it's fresh in my mind. Um, you might need to see if I can all hide or hide me. Okay. So I, I assume if you don't see my screen, you're going to tell me. So I'll just keep talking. Um, so if I click down here in the lower right hand corner of my screen, there's three dots. And then we're going to click on where it says templates. And we'll do um, podcast inquiry. Okay. So we get a lot of people who email us to be on uh, my podcast. And um, and so it's really nice to just have a template right there where you can reply. So on this one, it says, Dear Blank, thanks so much for your interest in being a guest on Front Row Podcast for Entrepreneurs. Lucky for us, we get lots of requests from talented people like yourself. If you'd like to be considered, please complete this form to see if you're a good fit for the show. We review requests on a quarterly basis and would, we'll reach out if you're pitch fits our content calendar. In the meantime, we suggest that you support the show, <clears throat> support the show by leaving a sincere positive review on Apple podcasts and sharing episodes with your audience. So a lot of good things happening here, right? Like we're doing a lot of good things in this email. I mean, maybe they'll leave us a review. Maybe they won't, but like, it's so nice. I don't have to keep typing the same thing. So our VA, um, first of all, uh, my VA manages all of our business emails. So this is my inbox and actually we left it full. This is as full as you'll ever see it um, because we just did this training and I wanted it to be full. We were showing people how my team manages um, uh, this inbox and how we have this system. You see on the right where it says Jen follow up, awaiting reply, delegated to read. Um, so she manages this inbox and she also manages a couple others. One is a support um, support email. And so she has a copy, a copy of those templates and she has her own templates. So she, she usually will answer emails from the support account using those templates. And it's just, it's just so nice. Um, you know, lately in the middle of this launch, we've been getting, um, okay, I got to find my way back to you. There you are. Where'd she go? I'm right here. Oh, okay. Um, and I was, Oh, terror. Um, but during this launch, I've been getting a lot of questions from people who think uh, that we are an agency that matches you with a VA, right? 
And so, you know, we don't want to have to keep typing the same answers over and over again. So we have a temp, we created a template for that and, um, and off it goes. So love, love, love Gmail templates. Yeah. And so in the beginning, I was talking about that too. Like we have different emails now, like Claudine has support at lowerwrite.com. Um, we have careers at, which is yep. we talked about too in the group and like just being able to have those templates in there so that I can have the template in my email, my info at, I can have it in careers, I can have it in support. And that way she can respond as her, she can respond as support staff, she can respond as me in my email. We don't do that, but I mean, it's all there, right? Mm -hmm. and she doesn't have to recreate the wheel to be able to still help with that support in those emails. And then I- yes in my inbox which only has two emails in it right now i'm so excited um but it took a while to get there it took a long time to be able to be like yeah go ahead and take over my email <laughs> yeah it was the last thing you know that i ever did but i i uh, last task i ever handed over and then in retrospect i'm like god i should have done that so much sooner like because the truth is, if something accidentally gets deleted, if, if it's really important, it's going to show back up again. You know, I promise like that, you know, well, I was going to make a reference that nobody here is probably old enough to understand. But I was going to say, like, if Ed McMahon shows up with the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes, like it's not going to be in your inbox. But nobody knows who he is or what that is. Do. OK, do you? OK. Yeah. Um, so, all right. I feel a little better. Um, so, yeah. So that's the first thing. Um, if it's if it's important, it will show back up. The other thing is you could start showing your VA how to archive things in Gmail as opposed to if they're unsure at all, instead of deleting it, when you archive things, essentially it goes away. You never see it again, but you can pull it back up if you ever need to. So that's why you can really you could send thousands and thousands of emails to the trash, but really archive them. They're gone from your site. For all intents and purposes, they are gone. But if if you need to pull up that letter from Ed McMahon, you could just search and it'll it'll pop right up. Yep, Cindy Lou knows what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, awesome! Well, thank you so much for hopping in here and talking with us. I know. No, thank you. If you guys have questions, um, I know Nika's in the group too because we've done um, joint webinars together in here before you're in the group. So if you guys have questions or um, anything really that you've gotten from the watch parties that we've been doing in the group the past couple of days from Jen's trainings, feel free um, to shout them out and comment and, and we will uh, get you responses. And then if you guys have any questions about the program or, um, I mean, you can ask me anything too. Um, and I can let you guys know, like my honest feedback. I, but I think twice, if not all three times. No, twice. Because this is the third time I'm watching, right? I think so. I don't know. I don't know if it's the fourth time, including the beta. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. It might be. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, we've gone through it multiple times. I paid to have Claudine go through it one time. You know, it's. I would not be paying multiple times to go through it, y'all, if it were not worth it, right? Like, just do it, save yourself a headache, especially with all of us now shifting. I mean, a lot of us are making massive shifts in our business this year. Yeah. Oh, one thing we need to mention, I don't want anybody to think they have to pay full price every time they run through it. You have access to all the trainings always. I mean, as long as the course is alive, you, you know, you have unlimited access to, to the trainings and you always get the newest version of the program. But what Laura's talking about is that we invite all of our um, previous CEOs back in for the for a reboot so they can be part of the live trainings. We do we do board meetings and then we have a support group, a live support group. So sometimes um, we've got some CEOs that that um, put it off and they, they ended up not being present for the live stuff. And so they want to do it again. And it's like a way reduced rate. And then. Um, and some people just want, like like Laura, want to send their their VAs through the live part because they want their VAs to run the system to hire the next new people. So that's what she's referring to. Yeah, thank you for that clarification. No, and mm -hmm. um, which also brings me to a point too. Uh, um, 
I, are you still doing a bonus of like the trainings for your actual VA? Oh yeah. Oh, and we added more. So not only do we train your VA at the end, so they have a course that we have a course that we give them called front row VA. And it, we go into like the awkward topics that, that, but mu that must be discussed, especially when you're working with another people from another culture. Right. So we talk about communication, what to do when, you know, when things get rocky um, or, or when you're having trouble, um, how to, how to, anticipate the needs of your of you um how to um uh how to how to oh i don't have it all in front of me but it's the importance of communication all that kind of stuff right yep. and then we also have technical trainings in there for the systems that we also have in front row ceo so 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 it's very um it fits together really nicely and everybody is literally on the same page and then the new thing laura is um we're, we have created, and this was recommended by one of our former students, you know, in the exit interview, everybody gives an exit interview or is invited to at the end and we get the best suggestions. And the suggestion was to create a mentorship slash leadership um, skill building community just for the VA. So a live support group just for them. So they are going to be invited for up to one year um, or as, lo as long as your VA is with you or for up to one year. Um, they get to be a part of this mentorship community that is led by my VAs um, who will constantly be helping them up level. Um, and then I'll come in there from time to time to do some trainings as well, but they'll primarily be doing all the trainings and stuff. And, you know, they can literally speak the same language, you know? Um, and so it's, I'm so excited about this. I could just, I could just die. We also send you, um, my front row CEO content creation system, which is a beautiful luxury hard copy planner that will deliver right to your front door that has a digital component that teaches you how to create um, 90 days of strategic content um, in just a few hours. I was to grab it, but. <laughs> That's, you, you um, yeah. Um, and uh, let's see, what else? We've got, um, I think, oh, and then all the templates of all the systems that we use in our business. So everything, some, some you might use, some you might not. Like if you don't have a podcast, you won't need our podcast templates, but they're there for you. And literally this is stuff that has taken us, you know, years to create. Um, and so it's just all about getting fast tracked as far as I'm concerned. Those things too were super helpful for me. I'm just putting the link in the comments. They were super helpful for me to not only like, um, we don't have a podcast yet, right? And that's something that we're definitely working on. Um, but to go through that and see like future steps, right? Like other mm -hmm. things that we missing, other systems that we could start now to prepare for when we want to launch the podcast, like things like that. Totally super helpful because then you start thinking okay well if i could do that in the future what can this translate to right now and that's actually how we got down the road of pr it's amazing i love i love that you're doing that that's so great and i'm just excited about everything that's going on in your business so Thank you. i know you did amazing last year i saw your posts and how you finished out the year you rock star oh well thank you <laughs> yeah it was a good year so yeah. well thank you so much for hopping in here and like i said you guys if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out jen is a wealth of knowledge in this area for sure yeah happy to answer any questions anybody has and thank you so much thanks for joining us laura thanks thanks for your patience so oh, sorry about that okay oh, gosh, no. <laughs> you don't need to apologize it is real life but yeah my crew knows <laughs> Well, I appreciate it. Awesome. All right, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.